request about gateway uh, entrances into our community. You have a breakdown there of the entrances into our community. Uh, you have a map indicating all of those locations, and then you have six or seven pictures of examples signs. You have one placed here behind you. Um, that is an example of what we place around the county. I have a question about something that's been Richard, are we are we uh, restricted by the state and federal authorities on Putting these signs on state roadways or state roads. What about on county on county roads? Where we are not restricted by uh, the state of the highway requirements and signs. So we couldn't just put it out here on highway before coming from Brooks County into Lowndes or Clinch into Lowndes. You can't put one of these kind of signs up. You would have to get DOT approval. Are they fairly open to doing those kind of things for counties? That's where the bulk of our, that I 75, where the bulk of our, I would tell me, I, certainly with your own 75, you serve uh, inspections or approval by the Federal Highway Department. Now, that is extremely interesting. DOT may be less so than the Federal Highway Department, but it's still relatively restricted on what you can and cannot do. We, uh, when we began this program, uh, the commission at that time wanted us to concentrate on those entrances in the community that were uh, easier for us to access. DOT will first ask you on a state route, um, is there an existing signpost that we already have a sign on that you could put something that meets your needs on? They, our beautification goals are really not something that they care about, which is why a lot of times whenever you go to the county, the county, the county you just see those green county signs, but unless you're looking for them, you don't really see them. There are um, some communities who have had um, citizens that have donated some land just on the other side of, of the right of way. I think that um, uh, Waycross, I think, is a great example. They're right to the side of the city, but if you look off to the right, if you're like coming in from Jessup, there's a, a big um, landscape area, but that's all of it. It looks like that entrance, but it's actually on the other side of the right of way, yes. So that's something that could be considered in some of those areas that you all are interested in. We did, um, I guess about a year and a half ago, almost two years now, um, put some of these signs up and Public Works had some, um, some shrubs and some plants donated, and they at great length really tried to make some of these areas look nice. Um, the problem is that several of them are fairly rural, and unfortunately, uh, we had some folks passing through that um, really loved our landscaping and wanted to make it their own, and they did, um, which left us with holes in the ground and signs. Um, something that you also have to consider is if we can get past the theft part, just uh, however elaborate it is, is a maintenance cost. So that's a balance that you would want to look at. Well, I kind of look at this, and Along the same lines, I mean, you know, I'm very, very proud <coughs> of this community. And again, this community to be in Lowndes County. Um, so I want Lowndes County to look good when we've got folks that come to our county. I don't care if they're our neighbors from Brooks County or if they're somebody that's coming from across that's the sun, yeah. coming through. It, it, it really doesn't matter to me. I, you know, I'm very proud of the county. I want it to look good and as good as we possibly can get it. Now, if we if we can do things and, and I have to apologize because I really didn't realize that we had that many locations on these, I'm gonna call them kind of rural routes where we uh, come into the county that that sign is there. I think that sign is a great sign. Uh, my intent, my focus for that type of issue is twofold. One is, is that I do think that it needs to be more on the high visibility state highways where folks are coming in. That's where your traffic's at. 84, 94, uh, 133, uh, 129, those, those sort of things. I think that those are the things that where we need to look 
at to see if if we can do something like this. Now I'm not talking about going out there with a, a huge elaborate landscaping because again, then you get into a lot of things. But I just think something other than the green metal sign that says Lowndes County, I think that uh, something like that would be much nicer. But along those same lines, what does tie into it, that I would like to kind of get a little bit more information about, is uh, beautification from the standpoint to me beautification means that your right of ways or needs your right of ways are clean as you come into that community you don't have um, grown up guardrails you don't have the things that um, that again looks like that you haven't done the maintenance of the due diligence that you need to do to make your community look good I know that again those things are very very expensive but there are some things we moved into a contract with the state to do their mowing on the state highways now which in my opinion if we didn't mow it i don't think it was going to get mowed so there were some of them we lost some tractors in out there because we were trying to mow it. i mean it was just that bad once we started mowing so i, I think that those are the issues that i was looking at and that i really would like to kind of continue to look at that being very very cognizant of the cost that would be involved in those situations i'm not going to go as far as you know i used to see details out there cleaning and working these areas i used to see details on saturday out there picking up the trash up and down the road that i lived on i knew that they used to do that and i know that there's some issues with that but i think that we need to to relook at that and see what those resources are see how we can use what we have available to us basically make Lowndes County as good and as attractive as we can. And it's just, again, it, it comes out of just being proud of our community. So I think it's something we'll move forward on it, you know, if their staff's asking direction. Why not we can see if we can get some approval from uh, the state to put some like on highway, or what, what is the process we have to go through? To put it on Highway 84, 129, 133. A lot of people come from Florida up here every day to work and shop. And um, these surrounding counties are bringing millions of dollars of revenue into Lowndes County. And uh, putting a sign up like this kind of shows we appreciate it. I think sign, if we were just doing the post, you know, we would have to, on those state routes, probably respect the requirements for the metal sign post and, and then our sign. Something that's going to have any landscaping. They use so many contractors. There's no way that I think we could get approval for additional landscaping. Yeah, I, I, I think the landscaping. I think the just, landscaping issue from the standpoint is just simply availability of water and those sorts of things. I, I, I'm not concerned about that. I, I like that sign, but along those lines, I think from the standpoint of continuing to look at the process of making our right of ways as attractive as we can and that don't necessarily mean flowers that's just clean right and i can't say enough about our sign shop you know not all communities are lucky enough to have that within their public works department we have a great sign shop and that is a tremendous savings not only from budget standpoint but also in liability because if we have a stop sign go down we don't have to order a stop sign we can make one right then we have stop signs ready to go up again with the sign the dot says well what you have on the sign is fine, but we need it to be a particular size, and the sign shop can easily make that happen, and we may have a, a version of this that would work better for them, but we can get it. Can we use the existing post to put up a sign like that? We may be able to. Use it to just put something up. If it's just a county line sign, right. why couldn't we put up something like that? That part we time believe they would be opposed to that. I was appreciate with your experience. Weigh in on this thing. What are your thoughts? Um, I think that we will do exactly what y'all asked. <laughs> <laughs> we will we appreciate that. that. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Chairman, I would not be opposed to picking maybe um, the two primary routes into Lowndes County, um, non-Interstate 75 route, right. obviously, and and looking at what it would take to to maybe build, you know, some berms with some. Um, you know, landscapes on something nicer. I like that marketing logo. I think that looks really good. Uh, you know, it, it you know, points you to the courthouse, which is obviously a gem for us. And, um, I would not be opposed to one or two of those 
you know, you can plant pansies in, the, in months of the fall, which are sort of maintenance free. You can plant other flowers in the, in the spring that would be less maintenance. Um, but I think if we're going to do a gateway project, I would rather put a little more effort into a couple of really nice gateways um, in addition to the things that I've heard here. At least look at what it would, what it would take. Um, hopefully, theft would be less of a problem on a, on a, um, a busier roadway. And if we cannot get land on a, uh, like coming from Madison County into, which is my home county, which I <laughs> want those people to know we appreciate them up, coming up here. But uh, we can uh, possibly put it on private property right there, that county line or coming into Lowndes. And I think we might And I would, I would go this far as well. Yeah. It doesn't necessarily have to be on the county line. Right, I agree. You know, as you come yeah. in, for example, Highway 84 is a good example coming in from Brooks County. You know, somewhere down that line before you get into the city of Alabasta, to let folks know that you're in Lowndes County and you're, you know, we're glad to have you here. So the sign is, and then um, you know, we're going to put a move on the process to make sure they're ready to put that, that, that uh, highway is clean. I just asked for some city, like Highway 133 and Highway 84, at least the uh, <coughs> two, the Madison Highway and Highway 84. I agree with you can see it, you know, those are uh, certainly 84, but those are major arteries into our, our community. I was wondering, do we have a, a module or something? I, I know like with every city, like City of Idaho, you got the Isaiah City. Uh, what, what is the county known for? Uh, do we have any, any slogan, county slogan? Yeah. Uh, it's the it's the county that named Fowler Austin the county seat. <laughs> <laughs> because we asked them to be here. <laughs> Don't we have we have used whenever we had advertising money. We don't we've not had advertising money in the budget well, obviously, their truth for the past five years. Whenever we had money to do that before, um, we used Welcome to Lowndes County. You're finally home, and I think that speaks to um, people who come through here who come to do business. Um, certainly to our military and the proof in that that you have in all of our military members that retire here and you make a great point as far as the signs go people traveling through but i think it's also great for our citizens whenever they're traveling you know if you've just driven five hours with you know a car full of kids and pets and everything and you i know when i 75 for me whenever i hit that Lowndes county sign it's just like you know a breath of relief i'm home and so to have that as well for our citizens well, it's all part. Of, it's all part of defining and creating problems. You either are or you aren't. And there's some you can see it in the yard. Some you can see it in the business. If you're either proud of where you call home or call your business, or you're not. But uh, again, I share with the other people that you know, I'm proud of where I call home. I'm proud of where you know, I'm proud of where I call home. And 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 and if you give me enough money, I can take well, a shot. I understand. I understand. Is that high heels? Is that high heels? Put that in sympathies in a heartbeat, Jeremy. You just got to give me the money. I got you. And I also understand that. And that is the reality of the situation. Yeah. 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 Y
if we don't if we don't have something out there that that we just haven't marketed right that's kind of fair uh, then uh, yeah that's something to think about to come up with a tagline for Lounge County I mean we could use you know the tagline Paige talked about or we could use some others just to get people thinking and maybe put it out on the website as a link say our Facebook or you know here's some possibilities do you have any possibilities and then, I mean it's not something hard and fast that we got to do it just might create some community interest sure. community excitement I'd be interested in what they think I, I struggle with some of these things sounded hokey or you know just having a nice welcome sign out there to Lowndes County and, and, I, and I agree I mean it's not something we have to do the, the other thing that I have that, that kind of tags in with the sign is um, IT has been looking at, and I assume we'll probably talk about it a little bit later on the, on the website stuff, is possibly creating a community app that could be downloaded. And at that point, that would be something I would want to see the app link put on the signs that people could know what that app link is if they're coming into the community. And yeah, so that I'm would be sure done with a little I'm icon sure down below. Right. Those are two really good ideas. Before we don't leave this, <clears throat> since y'all have uh, each such phrase on this sign, y'all might like to know that that was designed by Paige. Paige, she told us. <laughs> <laughs> she signed it wrong. No, seriously, I mean, that's, it's a, that's it's a great look. look. It's a great look. It really is. It's, it's a great look. And, and again, I don't want to take away from the tagline. But reality is that you don't. I know from my experience, you don't want to time. You don't they want to themselves. You want it to be an image that that's been planted. And if it gets too busy, you can't. You, you can't. Get, read. I, you can't get it. I'm a marketing guy. Yeah. Well, I'm with you on that. Okay. I, I agree. I'm just saying, it not necessarily have to be on the sign, but yeah. we might create some community yeah. interest and involvement okay. and use it elsewhere. Okay. Any other discussion on gateway? All right. Why don't we? Uh, why don't we take our break? Uh, we're running right along time and. Page needs a little bit of time to set up and let you know. Let's see. Page uh, 15, 20 minutes. We are set for 11. I'm going to see if I can get them oh, at 10 30. Okay. It's okay. I'm going to see if, if I can move our go to meetings at 10 30 since we're ahead of schedule. Well, just let me know. Then I'm sorry. I can, we can talk about the website a few minutes before we actually get in on the Got it. Okay. I didn't realize that's how you. Good job. Well,